Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ICN 2023. Saljana, a musical. We would like to remind you that flash photography is strictly prohibited throughout the show. This play also contains scenes depicting overdose, which may be uncomfortable to some viewers, so viewer discretion is advised. So, Jessica, still remember high school? Well, now that you mention it, those memories come back to my mind. I'm sure everyone here feels the same. All right then, without further ado, let's welcome... Saujana, a musical! in my class like you are some kids who just pick up from the street. Now get out and stand outside till the class is over. Hey, Jerry's supposed to help us cheat later, right? Uh. Oh my god, did you see what just happened? Wait, wait, wait. Where is Jerry? In Jono's class again? Isn't he supposed to have a spastic? To be fair, Mr. Jono has always been a gigantic pain and super street. Well, school's always like that. What can we do? This place has a love from us. No one really knows what we are doing here Our parents said do us good, do us proud Here we are in front of a vast crowd Of expectations, of condemnations Of our nation's generations But for now Of our nations tomorrow So it's good then To let them be free Now meet Gilang The brainchild of school white paper He's loud, persuasive And just a bit abrasive Pardon my French, mister But what do you mean? This makes no sense Care to comment? 
That man is harsh, he's Louis. Besides Gila, there's someone else, his sister, who's also in a mess. They call her Lena, the incumbent school council leader. Hey guys, listen up, we don't got much time. Drop your phones, focus up. She says she's fine. She's not fine. Across school hall, we got another story. A parent teacher meeting, and there ain't no glory. There's Gilang's parents too. The they keep saying it brightest. Gilang's dreams are dropping like flies after some bygone. Mama flips to the teacher, said bygones be bygones. And oh god, his sister, she's just the same. The men are parents, are trying to make a difference. Benji is actually doing all that? Apparently, yes. And there is more. I heard he's been with six juniors just in the past three months. I don't know. Kids these days are crazy. Benji. Oh, wait, <laughs> isn't that him uh, right there? What? Oh, don't stand. Don't stand. Isn't that Lena? Does Gilang know about this? Holy, we asked Gilang if he wanted to have lunch with us. And, and, and if he doesn't know, well, I don't want to show any more drama, please. I'm told for this. I'm 17. This thing. Hold up. Something's happening. Look. Oh, 
we, we dodged a ball right there. I almost got a heart attack from all that. You are overly <laughs> anxious, my dude. Well, you gotta keep your cool, man. Well, anxiety is a genetic thing. Blame my parents. Blaming everything on your parents. Like or everything. Did I, did I... Okay. What's going on now? The uh, anxiety thing. <laughs> yes, your anxiety disorder. Doing that is kind of fancy if you don't actually have that, huh? Be better, dude. Yeah, be better. Yeah, Gilang, wait to make everything about your beliefs and politics. Wait, 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 wait. But aren't you getting better at managing your anxiety recently? You weren't so anxious when you made up that fiction novel on the spot when Buyanti caught you cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, dude. He's just feeling anxious because his parents are doing that thing of Be a doctor! Doctors are stacked! When, let's be honest right now, you wouldn't trust this guy to put a band-aid on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it a lot. Like, the older generations trying to force their beliefs onto us. I'm just so sick of it. Yeah, Gil, we know. You won't stop talking about it. And as much as I love your story, you talk about your parents' unjust upbringing methods a bit too much for that to mean anything anymore. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. But what is it you want to do with your life, Ton? Hmm? Uh, me. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't want to put any pressure on myself either because that would just add to the anxiety, right? <laughs> Honestly, don't sweat it. Yeah. We still have a long, long way till we have to figure out about that stuff. I don't think there's a single person here who has actually thought of what they want to do in the future. And that's fine. I have. What? What are you looking at me for? I have. Oh, please pray tell, Monsieur. What is it do you want to do with your life? Probably gonna do something in journalism. What? It sort of makes sense, how do y'all not see? I'm basically running the school at news And not because I am not free Choose my way to choose my path I got a knack for this stuff To weed out the weeds that I see What are we supposed to see? Your mom! <laughs> <laughs> I might just be a high school kid But I got the guts to be more To have more, to tell more Truth that I think needs to be told And that the older generations Don't got the guts to say This time of our life is catching up to me There ain't no childish actions No villains to see it's just you and me And the dream of doing the right thing For the sake of this town I'll continue to fight Hey, hey! Let's settle down right now I think that's a bit too idealistic Even for you, Gilang Yeah, yeah, yeah And anyway, does your parent even know about this? Like, I know it's a bit shallow, right? But then, it's not like there's a ton of money in journalism. Money is that. Money, not a problem for you. Come on, money. Well, don't worry about my choices and the upcoming consequences. I've put myself out there. I know the cost, I know the risk. I've given a lot of thought and it's what I want This time of our life Is catching up to me There ain't no childish action No this see no, you and me And the dreams of doing the right thing and Be afraid to be yourself Cause what are our lives if we don't We gotta leave a mark We gonna do us in this story that we write. 
Bye, see you later. Yo. Yeah. Eh, Lina, where are you going? And are you okay? Um, well, I got school council stuff to do, so... Um, I pretended to be sick so I can go back home. But you know me, I'm more productive this way. Uh, here, can you give me a minute with my sister? Okay, thanks. Then, I know you didn't get much sleep last night. Why are you not taking your pills? No, it's fine. Uh, I was just really into what I was doing, and I didn't realize what time it was. But look, I took my pills, got some sleep, and I'm awake now. Fine, but please, don't push yourself too hard. You yeah, need some actual rest. Yeah. And we really need to get rid of that insomnia, Lynn. Yeah, I know, Ka. Okay? Bye. Bye, Jer. Oh, um, Ka. If Aya asks you about it, just go along with it, okay? <sighs> yeah, totally. You don't have to remind me with Aya again. Do you need someone to talk to? I have some time tonight, if you do. No, it's fine. Maybe later. Just get home safe, okay? Okay. See you, Ka. Lina, you are home? Aren't you supposed to be at school right now? Um, yeah, but nothing was really happening anyways, and uh, I have more important stuff to do. Are you sure that's okay? Uh, yeah, well, it's fine. Eh, but Kakak Gilang is still at school, right? He's not following you doing whatever this is. No, of course not. He's at school. Okay, come sit down. Did you hear? Kalandra is getting married. She sent out the invite today. Huh? <gasps> no way! Kalandra got hitched? Kagilang is not gonna like this. <sighs> yeah, but it's fine lah. I'll try and convince him to come, okay? Um, I don't think that's possible, but you're welcome to try. I'll cut in later when you guys talk about it. Don't worry, boo. And I really have to go upstairs now. Uh, uh, the meeting was so tiring. Elina, you're home. Are you <laughs> yeah. supposed to be at school right now? Um, well, I have no quizzes or anything, and um, I'm more productive here. Then, what will the teacher say? What will happen to your grades? School is important for your future. School is important for getting money when you grow up. Lin, being productive isn't the be all and all of your life. Be a kid, have some fun. Above all, school is expensive. Excuse me, but what's the point of paying for school if you don't go to it? In my day, I spent 10 hours walking to school. And again, it nearly caught my ankle. My parents gave that speech to me. It's something to really did. So I don't want to do the same to you. I didn't have the chance for school. It was too cool for my family. They didn't let me explore. What I wanted and more to hear me out. That's why we just want for you to have those chances. Opportunities galore. We're your parents, we've got a duty To guide you on your path I don't wanna be the bad cop My heart don't sit well with breath So just focus on schooling It's a pretty big deal A life with no money Is probably not ideal Hey, come on, don't be like that. What? She's still young. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Your father means well, but he's worth it, isn't swell. 
We want you to be happy in your own little way Focus on what keeps you going But don't forget when you are in doubt We'll be here to say You are important, you are ours You can stay all the way But if you want to leave, that's fine Go on your path and your way We'll be with you in spirit Just don't forget to play And take a break every couple of days We've got a beauty to guide you on your path. We're just trying to help. So please don't laugh. We know that you have other hobbies. School is not everything. Just find a balance and your heart will sing. <laughs> yeah, no way. It really was just today. I've had a lot of deadlines upcoming, and I just really needed a break from that environment. It just wasn't good for my mental. Well, if that's what you need, but don't do it too often, though. You need rest. When have you heard of someone taking sleeping pills in high school for actual medical reasons? Absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for medical reasons. Uh, but yeah, I really have to go upstairs. If that's fine with you, just come down for dinner later when Kak Gilang's home, okay? Yeah, but <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Hi, Ibu. Ayah. Eh, Kakak. You are home. How was your day? Uh, it was okay. Kak, you're finally home. Lina, Kakak's home and food's almost ready. Come down quickly. Eh, Kak. Did you know Lina went home from school early? Yeah. And you didn't try and stop her? <sighs> she said she had more important things to do. I trusted her. Speaking of, where is this kid? <gasps> See? Put the phone down. We are trying to have a nice family really dinner together. Really sorry about it. Just give me a minute. It's just that the people at the other end of this uh, event that I'm in charge of, they're asking for more stuff. So now I have to prepare this stuff that they're asking for and then submit it and it's all just basically more work. This is what I'm talking about. I get that you enjoy organizing stuff, but are you sure it's not getting in the way of your life? I never see you with any of your friends. You can invite them over sometimes, you know. I, uh, it's fine. Just let her do her thing. Yeah, we can talk about this later. <laughs> eh, Gil, did you know Kalandra is getting married? Landra? As in, Melandra. To who exactly? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Some guy from Sulawesi. Eh, but you do know that we'll be coming to the reception, right? What? Can we just not? Please. It's just this one time. Look, Gil. We've had these conversations a million of times before. You're old enough to understand why you have to. I'm old enough to understand why I don't have to. The whole only the eldest child is required to come to this event is pretty ancient, isn't it? Wait, I don't have to come? <sighs> Look, I don't want to come for someone I don't have respect for. And isn't it obvious that there's no one on our extended family that has any respect for her? <gasps> Do you mean that time when she yeah, tried to? Yeah, it was probably whatever you're thinking of. And more. Remember during Uncle Reza's wedding? Yeah. She implied that the only reason he was getting married was because of her and her money. And whatever she said, she just want to show off her wealth. 
I tune myself out for a minute. But the thing is, everyone that I talk to also feel this way, but they're all coming anyway. Horrible people don't deserve our respect and they don't deserve traditions upheld for them. Gil, can you just listen to us? Just this once. Don't make this about yourself. It's about being practical. No matter how much you Melandra, she is still our family. And let's say if something were to happen to both of us, I'm sure she will take care of you. She doesn't even care for me. Who even needs her help? If it ever comes to that, me and Lina can make it on our own. None of you know what you're saying. Kids these days don't appreciate the value of family. You know what? Gak apa-apa, Kak. We can just go there and you can stick with me. We'll avoid all the people that you don't like and just eat pudding. Bu, yeah, you guys can do all the talking and we'll just be there. You can tell them that we're talking to our other cousins. I'll be with Kakak the entire time. But Lin, you don't like Kak Mil either. Fine, I'm gonna go upstairs, get some homework to do. But Gil, you haven't eaten. Don't order grab food again. It's expensive and unhealthy. Gil, yeah, yeah. Gil. Yeah, yeah. He did what? I'm on my way now. Yeah. It's fine. As long as everyone's happy, I have to keep going. It's all on me. Eh, doesn't your brother hate, well, everyone? Must have been fun, huh? <laughs> Shut up. I mean, I kind of get what he means, but I also kind of get what my parents are trying to say. Same old, same old. Family stuff is the worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are you watching? Come on, help me. Wait. Just 10 more minutes. It's Lee Jung Suk's newest drama. And I mean, it's, this one is trash, but I'm already on the final episode. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, no. Look, I have so many things to do. Please, come help. Fine. So, have you ever tried talking to him about it? To my brother? And about what? About all this, your school staff, family, and what about your insomnia? You might be able to deal with all this right now, but when everything comes crumbling down, I'm just worried, especially with what happened last time. We both know why you are taking the pills. If things get worse, I'm just afraid no, that- No, sir, it's fine. I've got my ways of coping and remember, the pills stay a secret, okay? Or I'll tell Everyone, about that time that Sari went out with. No one else knows about it. Ben, he is also your coping mechanism, huh? You have heard the rumors, right? How he plays around with his doll for a bit until he ditches them for new ones. Hey, Sor. Hey, Lynn. Hi, Ben. Ben. And that's my cute little Lee. <laughs> ben. Now I gotta run. My folks need me back home. Hey. <gasps> Be careful, okay? <sighs> Whoa. What was that all about? I don't know. Come on. Hey, babe. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We haven't hung out in so long, right? Uh, yeah. What about we eat gado gado at that place near Palmera? The gosh, I forgot the name. Um, but you know, I've got all this stuff to do. Maybe instead we can get takeout, and you can help me with all of this. Really? Again? Is this stuff really important that you choose it over me? Fine. Just give me a minute. I'll wrap up and then we can go. Yeah, just one minute. Just how long are you gonna make me wait, Lynn? <sighs> you know, the people you're doing this for probably won't care about it anyway. It's just another irrelevant thing that you're doing just because it's good for your resume. <sighs> Do you really think so? <sighs> Look, babe, that doesn't matter. They don't care about you, Lynn. Your friends? Sorry? Do you even see her helping you? Well, she means... No, right? They don't appreciate what you do and what you bring. But I do. What I thought when I saw you at the start of our relationship It was like autumn breeze And my jaw dropped like a sparling rocket ship You're exaggerating <laughs> Lady Destiny was in charge that day Took a glance, took a look you know, it's only been one way. Made a choice, made a foul shot, a shot. <laughs> and now you're on my hook. <laughs> I know, Jami, you don't have to tell me of how our love came true. It was like a mystery. You suddenly fell for me, and how could I refuse? Love is love, some people say, so I wouldn't choose any other way. Darling, take a hint on summer's creeping through. And yet here I am, yet here I am. standing right beside you. Right I'm surprised that, that it turned out this way. way No issues, no problems Everything's okay Benji, don't leave me I'm too afraid You're my shoulder to lean on when things go south You're there with me too To hold me, to see me through When I have had The best, best thing that, that came from, from this school. So hold me, Olina. Don't leave my side. I will be there for you the whole way through. You're the, the best, best thing that came from this school. And when it all goes wrong, I will be here to stay. Cause you are. Cause you are. Cause you are. A big part of my
Gilang and the wedding. We need to reserve our place soon. And even though Lina has already handled it, I don't think it has gotten true to him yet. You know what? Just let it be. Lina said that she'll be with him, right? So let him be. At this point, I don't even care about what our relatives think of us. But then again, we need to be realistic. This is not how we as parents do things. And we need to teach him. We've tried to be understanding. But look at where it leads us. A brash, overconfident teen who thinks he knows it all. Aya, are you listening? We need to think about this. We need to think how to deal with Gilang and actually get through that thick skull of his, you know. I love him. I love Gilang. But dealing with his nonsense really drains me out. Aya, do you even care? I don't know what we're supposed to do, okay? I don't know. When we were growing up, I listened to everything my parents said. Regardless of what I thought, I followed what they said. Regardless of whatever problems that we had, I was just quiet, accepting. Whenever we had issues, I was just quiet and move on. But things have changed. Now they are watching all these people on the internet and suddenly their opinions are more important than ours. I've never spoken to my own parents about my own issues. How am I supposed to know how to do that with my own kids? I know you're stressed. And I know you want the best for the kids. But stop putting pressures on yourself. We are part of the first kinds of parents who had to deal with these kinds of things. So it's okay if you have hiccups along the way. People in a park It's basically what a household is Magic in the mind is what raising children is. Glitters and sparkles and rainbows and raindrops remember when they hop, hop, hop. Nobody said this would be easy. You knew, I knew, we both knew But nobody could see me all coming So stop worrying and just breathe in The memories will strengthen your faith This beautiful household we build Where do you find the strength to go on? From you, from the love, from Linda so on I understand But I don't think I can just change 
that's okay Baby steps are okay People might judge us They comment on what we do But we are going through it all Just in a different view Don't leave me, honey, please And let what's done be done I know now this won't be easy Kids nowadays are no easy task that joy, greed, and dedication inspire me So why shouldn't we raise a glass To our family and to our future To keep going for the home that we feel To keep going somewhere after this my uncle owns a seafood place with the fattest kurukuru you will ever eat I mean sure but shouldn't we be focusing on all these stuff first and what exactly is this stuff huh I'm not even sure what we're doing right now you know this the thing about burnout mental health and finding for help when you need it those stuff okay where even is Lena it's it's kind of weird that she's not even here because it's usually her. The first one in, the last one out. Well, but here's a well-known secret. The only one who cares is Lena. And even she isn't here. I bet she's having some ooh time with Benji. Yeah, yeah, so are we going to tell Gilang about that? Nah. Apologies everyone, sorry I'm late Had a lot to do and done a banging day But thank you no above, we're here right now Gonna till the fields, gonna grind and plow Cause the old heads know what they are saying If you love what you're doing, a job Coming along. Oh, uh, not good, boss. I've been on Stack Overflow before you even got here. Just trying to find anything that could work. Um, okay, so go find Tony in teacher's room for me. Tell him I sent you. I've already talked to him beforehand in case something like this ever came up, and he'll be more than happy to help. He'll probably just open Stack Overflow too. But come on, at least.
Let's try. Uh, fine. Thanks, Chef. Mr. I Hate Human Tony wants to help. Hmm. That's strange. I did happen to see someone leaving some martabak Sir. on his desk earlier Shh. today. Come on, that was a bribe. Shh. Family, they gotta keep going cause alone I can't, I can't do Instead, don't take this apart. All you have to do is rearrange the posters that are already here, and I think that'll make for a much neater look. And it'll be more time efficient, right? Okay, um, so as for this board, I think, first of all, great job, but you really need to work faster. We need to get this done by this week. Important for the whole event. I'm counting on you. Okay, sure, Lena. We'll get started right away. Now, please. Come on. Okay, everyone. I think this is it for today. I think everyone has either done their best or have other stuff to do. So. Let's just call it a day and come back tomorrow to continue. Same time, same place, guys. Great job. Hey, don't you have that wedding you got to go to? Why are you still here? Um, well, I think I'm just gonna help some of the others catch up with their stuff. You know, we don't want them getting too tired after all. But Lynn, no one else is here. And are you sure about that? Weren't you gonna like accompany your brother so he doesn't lose it? Uh, no, it's fine. I have it all under control. I'll get this done and catch up to them later. Yeah. Fine. You're only supposed to take this to sleep, remember? You can't just take this whenever you're slightly stressed. Sar, I'm only taking the recommended dosage for my insomnia. <gasps> See? I feel better already and I can relax. Whatever. You know, you're taking the flag for all your family's problem. And now this is nice and all, but Please, think about yourself. I'm worried about you and I can only do so much. You don't have to worry. I'm fine. I'm good. Why do you care so much? Why do you give so much of a damn about any of this? It's apparent that no one else does. And it's hurting you. I know it is. So. Why don't you just stop? No! Sar! Look, you don't have to worry. Just relax. I'm alright.
This is the only place where I control my destiny and be the purest being. Lynn, didn't expect you to be here so early. Um, well, uh, we finished early and, uh, as you know, early is good since, uh, we have more time for feedback and feedback is good. Please? Lynn, is everything okay with you right now? Um, yeah, sure. Why do you ask, sir? Well... There are a few things. About your proposal, some of the numbers look weird. And I cross-checked them myself. They were completely wrong. And we would have lost half of the budget. This looks like it's been written by a child. Nothing is clear. To be completely frank, I expected more from you. We have decided to cancel this event entirely. But sir! Lina, please, we can handle a bad publicity at a later date, but we cannot waste the school's money. Look, sir, the aim of this event, to provide a safe haven for students who need help, is important. It's crucial. And I really believe that it's worth the funding. I'm sure we can find budget cuts, something like over here. Look. The decision has already been made. But my team and I have worked so hard for this. You can't just throw everything that we've worked for away. There's nothing I can do now. I'm sorry, Lina. But, sir, uh, we're here. I hope everything gets better. has decided to cancel our event. Yes! No! no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry that all the hard work that you've put into this is sadly for nothing. But you know what? Let's be real here. None of you cared. None of you cared! I just asked for a bit of your time each week. Just a tiny bit, but none of you gave me even an inch of respect. So just go. Uh, 
I didn't expect that. Lynn, are you okay? Sorry. Lynn, I've been... I've been trying to text you for 20 minutes. What about our movie dates? My project just got cancelled. All my hard work for nothing. Look, babe, I tried to tell you. No one cared. No one will care about this project. Just like I said. Now let's go. We're gonna be late for the movie. Wait, wait. Wow. Sir. I never expect you to stoop this low. You piece of- Sir! Sir. Sir! Sorry. Just relax. I'm fine. Okay? I'm alright. Ben, yeah. do you remember that day when we met? Of course, yeah. It was a really great day. I know. I was really worried about whether or not I'd have to move schools, sitting in the canteen, alone, eating batagor. Then, <laughs> you came. Yeah. And Everything got a bit better. Yep. I've heard all the rumors, Ben. All the nasty stuff that you've done. But I chose to ignore all of that. To put my trust into you. I was a moron. So go. Latch on to someone else. I don't understand why you're like this, but I feel bad that you will never truly know what it's like to care for someone, to love, and to lose. So, goodbye, Ben. We're over. So you think you're all that, do you? I don't need you. I never needed you. I came to your life. I chose you. I gave you meaning and purpose. You are nothing without me. Nothing! Sir, can you give me some time? I need space to think. Please. 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 Just don't 
gentlemen, welcome to the wedding reception of Melandra and Johnny. <laughs> what kind of name is Johnny? Isn't he from Makassar? Maybe his parents were very progressive Bugis Makassar. What you just witnessed was a traditional Bugis Makassar welcome dance. Now, the Bugis Makassar are well known for their warmth and hospitality. And through this dance, the bride and groom hopes to extend their well wishes and appreciation to all of the guests who have kindly attended this momentous night. And without further ado, enjoy the food, enjoy the drinks, and good evening. I think they got the pudding stallers. Let's go get some. Oh, too bad Lena isn't here. She would have loved that. I thought you were the one who likes pudding. Let's just take a picture of the pudding and send her, okay? By the way, Kak, did she text you yet? Oh, yeah. Said she got hung up on her school stuff and would have been really late anyways. God, sometimes I understand how you and I feel. But thankfully her not being here has a oh ruined and... Oh my god! Yes, yes. You guys came! And the moment's gone. It's been so long! You never seem to visit anymore. Well, so, what have you been up to? What happened to Shana? Weren't you, <laughs> sorry, weren't you going out with her some time ago? Ooh, or did something happen? Well, I say get married quickly. Cause, you know, being a doctor is gonna take ages. Oh, <laughs> hold on a second. Mas, mas, mas. <laughs> My table hasn't gotten the drinks they ordered 10 minutes ago. 10! Tell you what, you run over there and go get it. Or I'll have your boss cut your pay for this event. <sighs> Why is he here? Go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What was it were you saying, dear? He was just saying that he misses you too. <laughs> oh my, I miss you too, dearie. <laughs> He's still as shy as ever, huh? You know, like, kids these days can't talk to people because they're always on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get something from the car. Right back now. Gil, 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 where are you going? God, Bu, I left my headphone in the car. I can't tune out all the noise if I don't have my headphone. I wasn't going to leave. Okay, I thought for a second you were leaving. <laughs> it's because you always think the worst of me. You always do. You have never said that. Never. But you act like it. Just stop. You've been nothing but disrespectful, Edward. Especially towards Katmel. We've been trying to understand you, but you're just not doing the same. <laughs> Did you see what you did with the waiter? Did you see? Please stop pretending to be blind and own up to your own hypocrisy. And trying to understand me? Me? In what universe is this pathetic charade considered trying? You and you have just been masquerading. I'm just so sick of it. I get tired of you guys. Oh, please just leave me alone and let me have my peace. We're really trying, Gil. We're giving it our all. But you don't let us in. You don't give us a call. We're trying to do our best for you to lead your way. But you don't listen to us. You just keep going astray. You, you are aren't looking at a bigger, bigger picture. picture. You're, You're just trying to keep it inside. I just need to be understood. I just want you. To look at us with pride. Please, let's just go back inside. Let's just have a drink and a laugh. Stop this drama we're having. I don't want it to last. 
just listen to your own force to love as we want to know. <laughs> of course I do. Don't ask me that. It's painful for me to say, but I won't follow you inside. Just listen to me this day. I just can't. I can stand it all. All the judgment and all the eyes. It's not only from you guys, but from the people inside. You I are just looking at a bigger picture. Just try to keep it inside. I just need to be understood. I just want you. To look at us with pride, I just want you to look at us with pride. If you really want to leave, we'll leave. Come on. Wedding. What will people think of us now? Uh, you Can you stop being so selfish and start thinking of other wedding. people? Guys, do you I hate me that wedding. much? No! Why do you always think that? You're just so selfish and thinks all about you. Me? Selfish? Do you need a mirror or do you just have some kind of God complex? <sighs> Look, both of you need to... No! I just can't stand it anymore! What? What can you not stand? Tell us! Hey, hey, it's alright. God. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Everything! Like, like that stunt at the wedding. Stunt? What stunt? Yeah, haha. Ha. Kids these days always on their phones can't socialize. Maybe it's not because I can't socialize. Maybe I just don't want to. Has that thought ever crossed your mind? And that all of my cousins think that I'm a jerk while their ones are clearly horrible people who deserve the seventh layer of hell? No! Of course you never thought of that. Don't talk to people like that, you understand me? You all let me deal with this. And you! Don't you know that I've tried to? I just want to understand. But you are too selfish to let people in. Your father and I are clearly from different times and we are trying to get to know you. But God, you are just so mid-headed and stubborn. Hey, you guys. I made pudding for everyone. God. Just, just leave me alone. I gotta think things through. Then I love you, but you left me alone, dear. You promised you would be by my side. I'm sorry. See, you should have just come, Lin. No one was asking you to do extra overtime and leave us. I know we let you do what you want, but please think of your actions and the repercussions they have on our family. I, uh, I...
insurance doesn't cover suicide attempts. And how can you prove that this was a suicide attempt? Well, I don't know. Maybe the doctor gave her a wrong dosage or something. I don't know. God, I didn't even know my daughter was taking anything. No, what I do know is that she will never do this on purpose. Do you hear me? Hello? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. As long as she's okay. The hospital says we can go and visit her in the morning. Gil. Talk to me. Please. I know you feel like we've wronged you in the past. But please, talk to me. Talk to us. I know it might not undo what happened to Lina. But I just want to understand. As much as you hate me, as much as you hate us, I will never want something like this to happen to... Please, stop. I don't know what happened to Lina. I don't know how it affected her. Because I really don't know. That's the problem with this family. We... we don't talk. The truth is... I don't know what happened to us. And if any of my friends ever ask me what, what happened... I, I honestly couldn't think of one thing... That just... Sent me over the edge. was all the little things. And I guess it just piled up over the years. But then, then one day, one day I just knew I couldn't trust you anymore. This, this is what I'm talking about, boo. I've just told you what I've been keeping in for years, but now, no one says anything. Everyone is just silent. Guess what? grateful we are that you are okay. Then, what happened? Did, did this happen because of Benji? Because I swear I'll... Ibu... Ayah... Kak... Where am I? You're in the hospital, Lin. The doctor said you... overdosed on your sleeping pills. Lin... <laughs> Hey, relax. Just breathe. It's okay, Lynn. It's okay. Are you feeling better? Lynn, 
tell us what happened. It was after the wedding night. That night. Um, oh, uh, it was nothing. No, no, just... no. No more lies. You nearly died. Do you know how selfish you are being right now? I... You know, we've made mistakes in the past. And we've come to realize of what we've done. But there's nothing we can do to change about it. So now we're trying to be open. We're trying to be honest. Asking to know where we went wrong. So that we can be better in the future. Then, I don't know if you ever realized, but I have never been able to say why I was so mad at Ibu and Aya. All those times I was so angry that I just ran straight to you. All those times I bothered you at school because suddenly I remembered something that made me mad. There's no true lines in any of those happenings, Lynn. And you know when I realized this? Yesterday, while we waited for the hospital to call about your situation. This might surprise you, but yesterday, I told Ibu and Aya everything. Every little thing that made me want to just leave and go to bed. Every little thing that made my day worse. <laughs> We're trying, Lin. We really are. But something is still missing from all of this mess. Talk to us, Lin. Please. Lin, please. I can't. No, no. I can't. What do you mean you can't, Lin? We are trying to change. Like what Gilang said, we are trying to change. Let us fix things. Let me fix things. We... We understand. Take your time. I'll take Ibu home to rest. Gilang will be staying with you for the time being. But I'll visit you again tomorrow. Lin, I know we have no rights to ask this of you, but please, we want to be better for you. <laughs> Lin, they are really trying, you know. They really are. Um, I'll... Uh... I'll go downstairs and get us some food. I'll check in with the nurses on your dietary restrictions and try to get you some pudding, okay? Semut di seberang lautan nampak, gajah di pupuk mata tak nampak. Men can see ants across the ocean, but not the elephant right in front of them. Sari, where are you? What is this? Lina, faults done to her, but not without her own. She cannot see, she cannot say. Go, you do not know, you will learn. <laughs> Who are you, Lina? Why do you work, Lina? <laughs> Why do you feel the need to shoulder all the load? Because I like it. I enjoy doing the stuff do you? That <laughs> or do you just like the validation of your peers? validation you never received from home. This destructive need to have to carry everything 
framing yourself as Messiah, saving and guiding these kids, for they know not what they do. No, I... I was never a good partner. You know this. But that doesn't absolve you of any mistakes that you made. No, I... Work over relationship. Two weeks straight, you cancel on him before he forced you to go out. He wasn't right, but neither were you. Desperate for warmth, but too scared to commit. Do you enjoy the work, clean? Are you as good a person as you said you are? Going out of your way for others, your kindness. Was it because you are kind, you are loyal, you are outstanding? Or did you do it because it felt nice? Does that not matter? Do the motivations behind your actions not drive you to become better? Does the lies you tell yourself? They matter. You feel the need to save every project in your life. Not because you care, but it gives you routine. It is a routine for you to channel your energy into to distract you for far more horrible things in your life. What could that be? What could that be? What could that be? Is this family what you want, Lina? A perfect nuclear exemplar for you to project all your fantasies onto? Ibu! Oh yeah! Ka! You hate us, Lina. No! Of course not! Well, then why don't you help us? Why can't you tell us what went wrong? Look at her. She doesn't love us. Is this what someone who loves us would do? Hide the truth. Prevent us from becoming better people. The best gift you can give us is honesty. That's not it. Then what is it, Lin? What is it, Lin? Is it how we turn from horrible people into angels in a matter of day? Black and white do not exist in the world of grace. Your father learned to be active. I am learning to listen. You are not doing the same. Yet, position yourself as the victim. The victim of your own actions. Is that it? I took the biggest leap. I talked with Ibu and Aya. I communicated with full knowledge of the risk. With full knowledge of nothing could change or everything could change. For better or for worse. You know this, your brother, an antagonist, improves himself. But somehow, Lena, the heroine, cannot? You're not a villain, Ka! Oh, because you realize that none of this would have happened without a sufficient amount of force to push the boulders down the hill, where it will never stop. You know what we mean, Lena? Say it. Say it, Lena. Say it, Lena. For us, for yourself. All this change! All that has happened? My parents becoming better people. Listening, overcoming passivity. My brother willing to open up and take risks for the family. All because I nearly died. If you didn't nearly die, would we ever change? But would we ever break out of the cycle? Of course we would change. How does it feel? Knowing that change might only come oh, after someone nearly dies. Is that what you want, no. And now, in this reality, things have happened. People have changed. The only one clinging to the past is you. You can't outrun this. It's no use trying. You have to face us. Why are you running, Lina? Why do you hide? If you don't want to listen, we'll leave. So you can hide in the shadow of your shame and regret. No! 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 I just can't! All this time, I've been pushing my own feelings and emotions deep down to a place that has no light. I don't know how to get them out. I don't know how to talk. I'm sorry. Just, don't you realize? You just did. 
Give me a minute. Sorry, I've been kind of busy lately. Um, my papers had a lot of problems, and my test scores have been <laughs> not that great. It's okay. Hey, I get us something to eat. You want pudding? I saw that they got a chocolate one that looks so good. Uh, sure. Uh, Kak. Ibu gak apa-apa. Oh, she'll be fine. Just focus on you, okay? It's just... I... I feel horrible. I've been meaning to talk to you for a while now, but... Everyone's changing. But I can't bring myself to let go of the past. No, I'm the bad guy. I'm the one who's going to cause all of this to happen again and again. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of it. Lynn, <laughs> we told you. And we really meant it. What's happening now? It's not your fault. And no one is blaming you. We've just made the same mistakes for too long without realizing it. And now, we're paying back our debt. Look, Lynn, today might not be okay. Or neither is tomorrow. But what's happening now is a good first step. And it will eventually get better. I believe in that with every fiber of my being. So just take your time. We are not going anywhere, okay? Okay. Hey, you'll be okay. 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 I'll get us something to eat. I'll make sure to get a lot of what you like, okay? Okay. okay. See you in a bit. And I don't know why it was in my fault. 
I feel ashamed, ashamed. What can I do if everything I built myself around came crashing down like dominoes? How should I act? When all the people in my life can change, but I can't. But I can't. <laughs> With all that's happened in my life, I need to reassess what I want and who I am. I am now free from. changing for me, for me, and I just can't, no, no. everything has changed, my situation is not what it used to be, everyone has changed, their actions don't ever torment me. Gentlemen, we have come to the end of our show. Let's give a massive round of applause for the dancers Dafa, Irvin, Vanessa, Severiano, Leonard, Fiona. Violin, Janet, Alicia, Ryan, Abraham, Fernando. Andrea, Theodora, Kizia, Marcella, Adeline. Stella, Jo 
Josephine, Brian Noel, Priscilla, Brian Wijaya, Dihan. Next up, our choreographers. Diridis Ma Tianyi, Leonardo Irvin Pratama, Gregory Isaac, Adeline Yi Wanting, and of course, led by our dance director, Ataya Kosama Jauhari. The supporting cast of Saujana, a musical. Stella, Fiona, Kathy. Mikhail, Arvin, Kenneth, Dima. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the main cast of Saujana, a musical. First up, Muhammad Rafi Azikra Sujai as Benji. <laughs> Melina Nopalia Jontera Lius as Sari. Wesley Susanto as Aya. Joanka Devi Kalinda as Ibu. Alvin Putra Budiman as Gilang. Last but not least, Kimberly Atmaja as Lina. Our vocal coaches, Janice, Ingrid, Ruyang, and Joy. Our acting coaches, Timmy, Clarita, Crismanto, Eileen, Elisa, spearheaded by Bernadette, Ausi, Miranda, Widawati. The show will not happen without the help of the makeup and wardrobe team. Jocelyn, Michelle, Joanne, Kesia, Joanna, Felicia, Dion, Ardi, Vanessa, Carlita, Audrey, Phoenix, Rachel, Johannes, Christine, Celine, Jessica, Brian, and Evan Theodore and fell in January as heads of the team. Next up, we have our sets and property team. Yovink, Bernard, Wilfred, Jessica, Wilson, Karina, Steven, Andrew, Al Vincent, Pascal, led by directors Verena Regina Tirtayasa and Garen Owen Limantara. Sound effect designer, Renadi Muliawan. Sound engineer, sound engineer, Mr. Surkar Nain Thailin bin Omar. Lighting designer, Mr. Alberta Wileo. And our script writer, Herbian Hoki Prabowo. Now then, please give it up for our musicians. First up, Dustin on bass. Zaki on guitar. Kenny on guitar. Samson on keyboard.
Rachel on keyboard. <laughs> Brian on keyboard. <laughs> Calvin, Vanessa, and Nathan on violins. And finally, Andrew on drums. And our composers who has put together the beautiful music. Timothy Ellison Janong. Kevin Lee Gunawan. Garrett Owen Limantara. Nathaniel Theophilus. And Jason Nicolas and Fisi Genfier Rasio as music directors. Next up, for their effort and dedication, please give a big round of applause for the production team. Our stage managers, Dua Nisa and Michael Hans. Our follow spotter, Deandra Devi. And our head stage manager, Billy Mulio Raharjo. Logistic and Welfare Team Holly, Dominica, Kenny, Charles, Luke, Leon Rich, Renardi Muliawan, and Leonardo Marco Edelin as head of the team. And let us welcome our External Affairs Team, Corporate License Team. Anya, Daniel, Naufal, Jessica, Fania, Marcel, Vanessa, Nathan, Hagan Hototo Barus, and Rafi Bintang Pagi Pangestu as heads of the team. Next, we have our marketing and ticketing team. It's consisting of Rivaldo, Josephine, Keiko, Andrew, Jessica, Artie. Led by directors Aknaf Habibullah and Ahmad Rizki Maulana. Our publicity and publications team. We have Eileen, Christian, Kennard, Steven, Edmerson, Alicia, Ryan. Ben, Akila, Kai, Elvin, Dustin, Kareen, Hong Yi, Ming Kai, Klaus. Spearheaded by directors Anson Douglas Hakim, Faldi, Lionel, Christian, Michael, Chayan, and Michael Tegu. The top management, artistic directors Hagata Raguel Jehoshua and Rachel Emmanuel Rafael. Our production manager, Anissa Marani Saraswati. Our Head of External Affairs, Leonardo Sutanto and Christopher William Riadi. And our beloved producer of ICN 2023, Abirama Raditya Santoso. Now, 
we would like to invite on stage our guest of honor on behalf of the ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia and Singapore, Mrs. Reddy. Please come to the stage to receive your token of appreciation. Next, our sponsor from Business Indonesia Singapore Association, Mr. Stefanus Titus Wijaya. Indonesia, Ms. Ira Widayanti. We would also like to express our sincere gratitude to the Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia in Singapore, Education and Cultural Attache, and the entire staff of the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Singapore. The entire staff of Sabala, Indonesia, Singapore. The entire staff of Drama Center Theater. And our helpful advisors in the ICN 2020 committee. And not to forget the great support from our sponsors, Bank Indonesia, Bisla, Wardaya College, our official partners, Bolanesia, Royal Banner, Stocks and Panels, Kingdom Food Group, Trend A, and our media partner, Nanami. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, ICM 2023 South Ghana Musical is wrapped up. Thank you to all of you, our wonderful audiences. My name is Rafi. And I am Jessica. See, See you at the next ICM.